What's up guys, so today we're going to talk about um, having more peace during your life, so let's get into it. I really just said during your life. <clears throat> I meant in your life, okay, not during your life, which they're technically both the same thing, but one is grammatically correct and one isn't. So um, in today's society, there's a lot of people with um, anxiety or worrying issues and honestly if they knew the lord you know they wouldn't have that because the bible says that he'll take away all their issues but that's not the point god will do what he said but the problem is that a lot of people don't believe what he's saying so they're like well if i do believe in god how do i know he'll take away all my troubles and issues and stuff like that you know they're like well can i trust him to be able to do that have you seen the uh trust fall where you know that you stand there and you gotta fall back and let somebody else catch you so it's almost like that they're like well how can I trust that he'll take it away and I won't worry about it? Now, the problem with a lot of people is that they'll tell, they'll pray and they'll say, Lord, I give this situation to you. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. I want you to uh, help me with this situation. And as soon as they're done praying, they go and take the situation back into their own hands and try to do it themselves, which you shouldn't do that right after you told God you're going to give it to him. You should keep your word, you know, and let him do what he's going to do. A perfect example of that, I'll put the reference somewhere on the uh, screen if you guys want to read it yourself. When um, God told Abraham that Sarah was going to have a baby, and she said, no, she said, that's impossible. And she said within herself, "That's I think that's the scripture. She said, um, she said no, she said, take my servant Hagar. She said, have a baby with her because what God said, that's, that's impossible. The she said what God said is impossible. Nothing's impossible with God, okay? But that scripture probably wasn't out yet, you know, during her times. But there's a perfect situation. She said, no, I don't believe God can handle it, even though she saw God in the flesh. I forgot the name. Uh... If I can find it, I will put that on the screen, okay? But the name of who of God when he came to visit Abraham, she saw God in the flesh say it, and she said, no, this is probably not going to work. So, But that's what a lot of people do today. They'll say, well, I'm going to give my situation to God, but I don't think he's probably enough to handle it, so I'm going to go and take it back and do it myself. And there's actually perfect scripture on this. By the way, how do y'all guys, how do you guys like this shirt? I've actually had this shirt for at least almost three weeks and I'm like just now wearing it. But anyway, <laughs> Philippians 4 verse 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So in other words, let God know what you need help with okay and what you need him to do and he'll take care of it for you but you got to step back and let god handle it i'm gonna read the same verse in the amplified okay um i have this parallel bible this uh king james and amplified so that's pretty cool amplified version of philippians 4 verse 6 says do not fret or have any anxiety anxiety really stop it get some help anxiety about anything but in every circumstance and in everything by prayer and petition definite requests with thanksgiving continue to make your wants known to god verse 7 philippians 4 and god's peace shall be yours that a tranquil state of soul of a soul assured of its salvation through christ and so fearing nothing from god and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in christ jesus so that verse is saying the peace that you feel when everything's going wrong and you still feel safe that peace god will give to you once you give your situation to him okay don't take it back and worry about it don't say lord is you, you you know for example you know i gotta pay rent you know out of my apartment i mean i'm i'm just letting you know you know but i'm gonna go ahead and go get a side job just to make sure now it's good to have common sense you don't want to just say lord i need you to give me a raise at work and you don't have a job okay so not like that you do have to put work into it but you also have to believe god and believe that he'll do what he's saying not go and try to get it yourself okay if you could get it yourself let's be honest you'd already have it okay if i could go and get four hundred thousand dollars myself i would already have it now technically i can but I would probably be arrested so that's why you know you got to pray and ask god for things like that and he has ways that man is just not going to work for us or woman okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video but yeah i just want to talk about peace and giving everything to god okay especially during um covid and stuff like that a lot of people they were going crazy and i don't think too i don't even think too many of the christians were trusting god at that point okay and not even the christians was like oh i'm a 
put my faith in God. You find out what people really believe when um, hard times come and you see, you know, seriousness. Then you say, oh, okay, now I see what you really think. Okay, you always, you could always, you could walk around all the time and say, like this, and say, oh, yes, Lord, He will take care of my problems. I love Jesus and um, I trust in Him. He'll, He'll do what He said He would do. And then when a, a tribulation or a trial comes, you say, you know what? I'm going to take this into my, matters into my own hands, okay? I'm going to deal with this myself, and that's not believing in God, so. And you don't want to be a hypocrite, so that's another thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you're going to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. If you don't have any friends, Jesus will be your friend. Stay victorious. Jesus loves you.